what's an example of objective and non-objective thinking? I was watching a debate with a rabbi and thought about this when he brought up that he's never met an objective person. So objective thinking is, ob is, thinking, is thinking, right? In a sense, it's, it's redundant. It means that you're referring to facts. You're referring to reality. You're being logical and rational. Non-objective thinking is not really thinking. Non-objective thinking is really when you're using emotions, you're letting emotions interfere, you're letting emotions uh, move you in one direction or another, you're letting that impact your decision-making, or you're evading certain facts, you're purposely not looking in certain directions, you're only using facts that are appropriate, or that, that uh, fit what you think the conclusion should be. Objective means taking in all, into account all the facts, applying to reality, using logic, not letting emotions intervene, and not letting your biases intervene. Objective thinking is hard because it's very hard to let go of your biases. It's very hard to look at reality and actually examine the facts and make sure you have all the available evidence and are not overlooking anything. That requires real effort. So I can understand him saying he's never met an objective, somebody who's really objective, because... It's unusual to find people who are who are really who really make an effort in their thinking to be objective, to be fact based, to be reality based. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes that should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourownbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.